What's up, guys? It's your boy, Mikey Vision. We're here on the Ninth Island with UNLV quarterback Cam Frio. What's up, Cam? Yo, what's up? What's up, Mike? Man, so we're jumping into the 2024 season. Your fourth year? Yep. Fourth year with UNLV? Year four. Why, why UNLV? Why'd you pick UNLV? For me, coming out of high school, uh, one of the biggest things, obviously, was distance was a part of it. But one of the biggest things was just being a, surrounding myself with a coaching staff that had experience. And uh, at the time, it was Marcus Arroyo. And, you know, just seeing all the things that he did at Oregon, it's kind of something that made me want to uh, be around that kind of that kind of coach and that staff. Well, you went to St. Louis High School, and then what made you transfer over to uh, your other high school you went to? Uh, so my freshman and sophomore year, I was on scholarship. I was getting help with uh, tuition uh, to go to private school. And then uh, once I hit my junior year, it, the prices kind of went up. And, uh, you know, I, I come... I come from a big family. I got a lot of siblings, and I didn't want my put that stress on my parents of having uh, them pay out of pocket. So uh, it wasn't really a big deal for me. I decided to transfer to a public school. Uh, went to Kailua, and you know, what I mean, I was always told that it was it doesn't matter where you play at, but how you play. So I kind of took that with me and. Uh, made some stuff happen over there. Man, I mean, you killed it at Kalua, right? I mean, you had 22 touchdowns, 1,700 yards. Um, you know, you went there and balled out. But like you said, we were talking about your senior year that COVID hit. Man, how was that like? Um, you know, it was a bummer. And I'm pretty sure you can ask anybody that is a part of that class of 2021 how big of an impact it had. I mean, being able, not being able to have your senior year and kind of missing out on the opportunities, future opportunities, uh, something that, I would say really like messed me up, but everyone else. And uh, the more I look back at it, it's kind of something that I've learned to become grateful for. Cause you know, I mean, if that didn't happen, I probably wouldn't be here right now. And I'm, I'm glad that everything turned out the way it did. This season coming up, you think that's yours? Yeah, I, I believe, I believe so. I mean, we got, we got new uh, quarterbacks that entered the room. We got uh, Haj Malik, he came from Campbell. And then we got Matt Sluka, he came from uh, Holy Cross. But uh, just being around those dudes are, are are people that really push you to get better every day. And I mean, there's no bad blood in the room. Um, everybody kind of knows what, what's up for grabs. And uh, I believe that, you know what I mean, like as the weeks go by, uh, we're just going to continue to push each other. And no matter who gets the job at the end of the day, I feel like we're, we're all going to be supportive of that one dude. Played backup quarterback behind a, a couple people before. And uh, you actually were able to start um, and play eight games before you got injured. I think that was your freshman year. Yep, yep, yep. And, you know, um, how was that, like, going into your freshman year and right out of high school, and you sat for a couple – I think it was, like, the first three games. Yep, yep. You sat behind somebody, and then, boom, they got injured. You had to jump in. You went eight straight games. And, I mean, just thrown in the mix. Just, like, there was no prep. <clears throat> it was literally throwing the mix. How was that feeling to jump into that college next level? Um. I mean, first thing first, I was, I was sitting behind Doug, and uh, coming in as a freshman, Doug was a was a cool guy to be around, and he was somebody that really uh, got me better. Um, he was actually my roommate when I first moved in, so he wasn't really like kind of showing the cold shoulder. He was always the oh, one. Oh, so like, you got, you guys were together in the yeah, room, nah, okay? We were, we were we were cool, we were tight, and uh, he was always like, "Oh, bro, like, you know what I mean? You do you do a lot of good things, and uh, you're young, but you know what I mean? Like, I'm gonna be there and support you pretty much." But uh, getting thrown in the fire at a young age was something that really humbled me quick. And uh, I tell a bunch of people that always ask me this, uh, but I felt like I had really had to grow up uh, in a short amount of time. And I mean, that's kind of seen all over football uh, nowadays with, with young quarterbacks being thrown in the mix. Uh, one of the biggest things is trying to be able to grow up within a short amount of time and uh, be able to lead a team uh, to go win games. And uh, for me, it was kind of a surprise because, you know what I mean, Doug was the guy at the time, and I wasn't really thinking I was going to play my freshman year. And then, uh, you know, week three went by. I believe it was Fresno. Doug went down, and they threw me in the mix. So that was kind of the first game I really got in, and I uh, made a few things happen, but I, we did fall short that game. Um, yeah, I think I went down with a knee, with a knee injury or an ankle injury. Um, but I had a few injuries that, that freshman season, but um, I tried my best to work through it and not let it really affect me. And you still became, you know, as the like freshman, Mountain West Freshman Player of the Year 
Yeah. You know, even with your injury. So, uh, you know, I think you were ranked third all-time UNLV, and, you know, you got the Mountain West. How was that, getting that Mountain West Freshman Player of the Year? Um, It was crazy. Uh, I mean, like like I said before, being thrown as a true freshman kind of blew me away. But then uh, the more that I the more that I kept going in games, the later I got in the season, the more comfortable I got uh, just knowing the game plan and the more confidence I built in myself. Um, I mean, from that point on, I started feel started to feel like everything started slowing down, like the game got a lot slower. Uh, I knew what I was looking for. I knew what to check for. Uh, but, the, but I mean, I, I really just tried to give it my all uh, every game that we got. We didn't have the best record that year. We really only won, what, two games? But uh, I learned a lot from that year. And to be able to walk, walk away with such a big accomplishment at the end of that, that was really uh, humbling for me. And, um, something that I'm really looking forward to stack. You know, Vegas Vegas treats you well, man. Uh, Vegas is a great, great town, man. Uh, that, like, there's tons of places out here, and that's what I want to get into is uh, what's your favorite thing to do out in Vegas? Uh, favorite thing to do? I mean, there's a lot to do, really. Uh, just small things, uh, like kind of go out to new places, try new things out. Uh, I've been out, like, on the Strip. Uh, going to restaurants, I, I really like just like trying new things out to eat. What's your What's your favorite uh, food spot out here? Oh, uh, favorite food spot probably Master Kim's Korean okay. Barbecue. Okay, it's like that's the know. one where they uh, grill right there on the yeah. table. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to the Ninth Island. This is your boy Mikey's Vision, man. Make sure to hit that like, subscribe, and follow button. Yay! <laughs>